Hello everyone. Let's provide the complete solution to this problem. x to the power of 3 over 2 equals 3 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, let's rearrange this. We can have x to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Because if I open this bracket, I will have this back. And that will be equal to 3 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Right? And you know what happens when a number is raised to the power of 1 over 2. It means the square root of that number. So here we have square root of x to the power of 3, which is equal to here we have square root of 3 to the power of 3. Now what if we bring the square root of 3 to the power of 3 to the left? So we have square root of x to the power of 3 minus square root of 3 to the power of 3 being equal to 0. Remember that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is going to give a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared, right? So if that is the case, our a is square root of x. So I'm going to write square root of x minus b. b is square root of 3. So we close that. Then in here I have um, a squared, which will be square root of x to the power of 2. Then plus a b, that will be square root of x multiplied by square root of 3. a is square root of x and b is square root of 3. Then plus square root of 3 to the power of 2. How did I get that? Because b is square root of 3. And everything is equal to 0. Now we have square root of x minus square root of 3. Then here this will cancel this. So we have x plus from here we have from um, we can equally multiply what we have here. Square root of x times square root of 3 will give us square root of 3x. Then plus square root will cancel this and we shall have 3 which is equal to 0. So from here what can we say? We will say that either this is equal to 0 or this is equal to 0. So that square root of x minus 3 minus square root of 3 equals 0. Meaning that square root of x is equal to square root of 3. Square root can cancel square root and our x is equal to 3. So this is a real solution to the problem. Then we need more solutions, and we are going to get that from this equation here. x plus square root of 3x plus 3 equals 0. Now let's make square root of 3x the subject. So meaning that I'm taking everything to the other side. So square root of 3x will be here, and it will be equal to 0. This becomes minus 3. And this becomes minus x. So this means we have square root of 3x to be equal to minus 3 minus x. Now, square both sides. We are squaring both sides so that this square will be eliminated. Combine this and square. This is going with this. So that 3x is equal to minus 3 minus x into minus 3 minus x because of the square on it right now 3x will be equal to the whole of this will multiply this right now see how you should do it if you have issue with this kind of multiplication we pick minus 3 and it multiplies everything here minus 3 minus x close this then we pick minus x and it multiplies everything here minus 3 minus x so let's multiply we have 3x we have 3x 
then equals minus 3 mi times minus 3 is 9 minus 3 times minus x is minus 3 okay it's even plus 3 because negative negative will give us plus 3x then minus x times minus 3 that will give us plus 3x then minus x times minus x will give us plus x squared so this means we have 3x equals 9 plus 6x plus x squared so here we are having a quadratic equation so let's arrange it better the highest power will come down which is x squared then here we have plus 6 plus 6x then this comes here to become minus 3x then we have plus 9 equals 0 right okay so we have um x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0. what we'll do now is to apply the quadratic formula and for the formula our a is 1 b is 3 and c is 9. if you do not know how to obtain this follow me a is a coefficient of x squared which is 1 b is a coefficient of x which is 3 and c is a constant which is 9. now what is the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus then square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2a now our x here will be equal to in place of minus b i'll write minus 3 plus or minus we have square root of b squared which will now be 3 squared, right? Then minus 4ac. a is 1 and c is 9. a is 1, c is 9, okay? So that will be over 2 times a. a is still 1. So now x will be equal to minus 3 plus or minus. Then we have square root of 9 minus 36. 3 squared is 9. And 4 times 1 times 9 is 36, and that will be over, over 2. To go ahead, we have x to be equal to minus 3, plus or minus. We have square root of, if you take 9, okay, 9 minus 36 will give us negative 27. So we divide this by 2. Okay, so now we have x to be equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 27 multiplied by i. So if you pick out the negative here and you find its square root, it gives you i, which is imaginary. So this is over 2. To continue with this, x will be equal to negative 3 plus or minus we need to write i first before writing root 27 and this is over 2 mind you this is a 2 in 1 solution right although it's not a real solution because of this i now we have the first one which is x1 and it's equal to 3 the only real solution then x2 is obtained from here and that is um minus 3 plus i root 27 this is over 2 remember this is i okay then our x3 is the same is from here as well so we have negative 3 this time around we're picking the negative right i root 27 and this is divided by 2 so from here we have from um, by now we have the three solutions to the problem this is the only real solution while x2 and x3 are complex solutions thank you for watching